So just going further into it today, like it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a lot of you know, um, organizing to make it to where, you know, um, the music that I'm talking about, like lines up with the drums, like in the um, the final composition. Um, but so like the bass part, uh, in that first part is. Um, So that's, you know, the, the bass line for that first part. And also what I was thinking, like another, like a, a guitar part and a, and a, and a bass part. Because over, the, when it, after the bass goes, after the bass goes, um, yeah, so it hit the downbeat. On that downbeat, the guitar is going to go, so that's how that will the guitar the bass line and the guitar part will line up. I play those in a high note, like put like some sort of crazy effect on it. Um but uh another idea that I have for that specific chord progression, um, like whenever I'm doing whenever I'm like riding on the on that weird symbol that I have. Like doing the doom doom ka doom doom ka doom doom ka doom 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 ka doom doom ka doom doom and like playing the beat full out. What would be cool is for the um the bass to go uh starting the starting the D on on the on the A string and go guitar part over that going on the um, the 12th fret of the high D and going it will it will uh, it will sound really cool together because um A is the fifth of D, so it's the fifth. So it would sound really cool together. Um, and then um, let's see what other things that I want to leave it off with today. The other work for today. Um, so for cor for chorus for the chorus, this is the this is the first day that I've even thought about it. Um, so uh, what would be cool? It'd be cool to go into the chorus by leading into the chorus, like the, the pre-chorus be the. So that'd be cool. That's that's just my first that's my first idea. So we need into it the pre-chorus being uh
So D. Um, so we could do like that too. So it'd be like. D F G A, um, but you know with with the bass playing with your fingers and you know accenting like those the the, the, the individual notes in the chord like you know uh, accenting the individual notes in the chord with the um with the F or with the D F G A look for I mean I'm not an excellent guitar player but look for you know kind of like um, abstract chords that you play on the guitar like minors um, maybe or um, diminished I don't really know how to organize it but just think of the bass line being here, I'll play the bass line four times so that you can experiment with it. So that's, that's all I'm going to say for today.